Although it may be hard to believe, the widely abundant raw materials, table salt and nickel, are the main ingredients of the table salt battery. In the cell of the table salt battery, cathode and anode compartments are separated by a solid ceramic membrane, also called electrolyte, here in blue. The battery is assembled in the discharged state. Table salt, here in red, and nickel, in purple, are combined in the cathode of the cell. The anode is empty. Nickel particles are forming an associated network. When charging the battery, table salt and nickel are consumed. Nickel chloride, in green, and sodium, in yellow, are formed from the raw materials. Nickel chloride remains in the cathode compartment while sodium ions travel through the ceramic electrolyte to the anode side. So the reaction partners are separated and the energy inherent in this reaction is stored in the form of sodium in the anode. When discharging the battery, sodium travels back to the cathode to combine with nickel chloride and reform the primary raw materials. The open circuit voltage of the cell is about 2.6 volts. The challenge of the technology is the constricted sodium flow across the ceramic separator. The battery has to be heated to have an efficient material transport and still charging as well as discharging, the battery remains slow and presents some impediments to wider market introduction.